How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today I'm going to be showing you what each of the three main nodes are in the color page. I'm going to be showing you what each node means, what you can do with each of them. Uh, I want this to be your last video about nodes. And with that being said, let's just get right into this. So we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, the most common uh, and the most straightforward node is the serial node. And if you hit Alt S, you can add a serial node or you can right click and go to add node and go to add serial and it's the most straightforward node each node is applied one after the other in sequence as you can see so this means that changes in one node affect all subsequent nodes and it's kind of like you're building upon each node the most common uses is the primary corrections you know you go to do your primaries you go to open up your image whatever you've done this before and then maybe you want to go do saturation white balance so you add another serial node and you're just building upon the primaries before it from there you can you can also adjust the contrast here um, building upon your last node so you're pretty much just correcting the shots you're usually just going to correct whatever image you have with serial nodes usually all right i'm not saying every time all right, and then you can kind of see how this works here. You're gonna go to generators here and you're gonna take a grayscale and you can't really color grade this uh, grayscale right now. You have to right click and make it a new compound clip and now you can take it into the color page. And then what you're gonna do is create three nodes here. First node, add a power window and you're gonna go to the RGB mixer and you're going to put the blue output all the way up and second node, add another one and you're gonna put the green output all the way up. Third node, add another one, and you're gonna put the red output all the way up. And then we can kind of see what's going on here, you know. All right, so now let's go here and let's talk about parallel nodes. Go ahead and add another serial, and then you can right click on the serial and then add parallel and add parallel, you can keep doing it. So parallel nodes let you add or allow you to add multiple corrections simultaneously and then blend them all together pretty much so this is useful for uh, making independent adjustments that need to be separate from each other all right like you go to adjust the skin tones here the sky here um, her dress in this one so we can come up here to this one and we can add a kind of a warm tone more on the gain on the highlights and then we can come here and kind of add a cool tone to the shadows and it kind of evenly blends those together and this is also good for just having your node structure organized right uh, let me show you something real quick so I can put my saturation all the way down here and then add a serial and bring it back up and I cannot bring it back up because my serial is just building upon what I did in this node and what I did in, what I did in this node is I took the saturation all the way out 100% so I can't bring it back in this next serial node but if I go ahead and um, you know add a parallel node here in this first parallel node I'm gonna take down the saturation and here in the second one I'm gonna bring it up I'm gonna bring it up and as you can see and if we go on and off we just went back to baseline because it's equally blending the two nodes. So when you're working with parallels, it's just taking the information from this node. No matter how many parallels you go ahead and add, these are all taking information from the last uh, serial here. That's where it's getting its uh, RGB information, not from any previous parallel node, okay? And let me show you kind of what that looks like. So this is what three serial nodes look like, and then three parallel nodes. Okay, so you can see how nicely they're all blending in these parallel nodes right here. And then when we have them in a sequence with serial nodes, things are starting to get a little weird here uh, in the serial nodes uh, when they are kind of on top of each other blending. But with the parallel nodes, they're nicely all blended together evenly. And this is just like, this is weird. It's like these are blended and then these two aren't really blended, but these are blended. It can be a little weird. All right, layer notes. All right, let's talk about layer notes. All right, let's go to our clip and let's add a node 
and then you're gonna right click it same thing as last time add layer okay and layer is exactly how it sounds uh, the layer nodes work like layers in Photoshop they let you combine multiple nodes in a stack right pretty much right so alt L or option L and you can add a whole bunch and if you want to get crazy so for simplicity's sake, we're gonna use two, all right? This node here at the bottom is always the top layer. Um, even though it's weird, that's how it is in DaVinci. So when you go to click on the top one and you go to add a like color cast, nothing is happening. You could see it right here, but nothing is happening here. And then if you go here and add it, you can see it happening here because this is the top layer. And you won't be able to really see anything on the bottom unless so let's make this top one a blue cast okay and then this bottom one is kind of an orange cast um, the only way you're gonna see it is if you go and add your power window okay because we're just we're cutting the rest of the image out except for the central point so therefore now we can see the back layer all right let's go here Reset, same thing with the qualifier. Let's get the red here. All right, so we're just getting this red here. And now this, the only thing that exists in this layer is this kind of red part. And now we can see that whole color cast of the background. And let me show you how that looks. This is how it looks. How else would it look, right? And then let me show you what I mean by the bottom being the top. So see the red is on the top of all of them. It's on the bottom though. Visually, it's on the bottom. And then this right here, this is the, the layer mixer node. It still counts as a node, just an FYI. Same thing with the parallel mixer here. It still counts as a node. All right, so now let me show you a practical application of using the parallel node. So uh, the top node, I just adjusted the hue of my skin. And then the uh, second node, I uh, adjusted the sky, the color of the sky and the uh, saturation. And then I did a power window kind of acting as a vignette, a, a larger vignette though. And then I kind of did a gradient coming from the bottom just to put more focus on her face. And then I created a node for, just for her face. Um, I just used a power window and tracked it. All right, I added some, some more depth to her face. And then in this one, I messed with my log wheels well, I just put the offset a little toward, I uh, gave it more of a yellow orange color cast and I cooled off the shadows to kind of emulate a film look. And then the last one, I kind of cooled off her, her dress here. I put the saturation and brightness down just by using the qualifier. And it's nice and organized and it's all blending together very evenly. And then I can go ahead and add some film emulation stuff after it over here. So there you go and you just need to go into DaVinci and start messing around with it because everybody's gonna have a different way they use uh, parallel nodes like I could have put the power windows in a separate but ultimately you just want to make sure the footage stays clean doesn't break and the client is satisfied with that being said thank you for watching I know I probably didn't cover a thousand percent everything but I hope you understand it better than when you uh, came into this video subscribe I'll see you in the next one.